Hello and welcome to the sixth part of this game making tutorial. Um, in this part we'll be adding textures to our game, so it won't be only rectangles and schnitzel. I've uh, I've made some pic pictures here. A cloud, some enemies and a ground, a horizon basically. Um, first of all, when you're making textures for your game, you have to be careful when sizing the image. The size of the image has to be in the power of 2, as you see on the, the little uh, tooltip that popped up there. The dimensions of the cloud picture is 256 times 64. Those are both numbers in power of 2. Same with, with all the other pictures. The, the enemy 2 is in the size of 512 times 512. So, um, yeah, when we know that, Let's uh, go ahead and add the images to our game. The reason why you have to have it in the power of 2 is because some old graphics cards uh, don't support other images. They only support images in the power of 2. So remember, remember that when you're making textures. Let's, uh, I like to make a new folder in my game directory when I'm adding uh, images or textures. So. Let's call this folder textures and just copy paste them into there. Ah, yep. And we need to load the images. Uh, loading images only has to be done once. The function for loading an image only needs to be run once for each image. Uh, if you don't want, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go through some, some loading screens and such later, but. Uh, Let's make it simple for now. Uh, the function to load an image is love.graphics.newImage. It will return the image in a understandable format for the love engine. So we need a, a variable before this function. Let's call it image cloud. The arguments of this function is only the path to the image and the path to an image inside a love uh, 2D game is normally starting from the game directory for security reasons, so you can't access System32, for example. Just saying. So, um, yeah. The path to our first image, the cloud image, is textures slash cloud.png. Yeah. And then we just add the the rest of them, which I have here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, with the same uh, same method, a variable named something that uh, resembles the image, and you don't have to, but it's 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 good coding to to have names that resembles the value in the in the variable. So, yeah, and the path. As easy as that. When we want to draw an image in the game, we use another function called love graphics draw. This has to be called every frame. So we're putting it in the draw, uh, love.draw function. This one, since it's run every frame for sure. So the first argument in this function is the image. So let's copy, let's copy the cloud. Uh, we want this image to be drawn instead of the white rectangle, which was our cloud. Uh, this cloud, if you can call it that. Oh, look, it's already drawing the, the cloud. So, But we want this cloud to draw over the rectangle. So let's copy the position of the cloud, which is variating. Uh, the fourth argument in this function is the, is the um, angle, which we don't need. And then the scale, which is from 0 to infinity, where 1 is the original scale, and offset. Uh, we don't want the old cloud now, so let's see how this turned out. Yeah, by the way, the color of an image is set to default when the color set before the image is white. Remember that, I'm gonna show you now. So here we go, now we have a cloud instead of a rectangle. That's jolly good! Uh, if we turn the color to red, however, the cloud turns red, or reddish. Yeah, fun fun. 
Now let's add the, the, the ground or the horizon which I made. I want this horizon to lay on top of the grass uh, <laughs> picture. So if we're going to be able to do that we need to code some nifty stuff. Uh, we want the image to display after the grass or on top of the grass so let's put it under. Uh, the grass uh, drawing function. We're going to draw the image ground image. Uh, the X position, since the image is 1024 wide and the size of the window is 800 pixels wide, we need to subtract um, uh, the size of the window minus the size of the image divided by two since I since I've put the image in the middle since I put the ground in the middle of the image so let's do let's do that let's do just that 800 1024 divided by two the white position should be halfway down the screen minus the height of the image which was 64. Uh, the color has to be white, since we want the color of the image to show and not our custom colors. So here we go. Yeah, looks jolly good, doesn't it? I think so. Looks really nice, yeah. Okay. Now, um, yeah, I guess we'll stop there and we'll make enemies in the next tutorial. So see you then. Rate, comment and subscribe please, really helps. Goodbye!